hello, hello, everybody. I am Divine Mother, and welcome to my crab show. So I figured during this time of quarantine, I could actually, like, dim down some of the rumors since people think I don't really paint the stuff I be posting. Like, I be painting somebody else's artwork and perping and stuff. So I figured I would um, paint a little something in front of you guys. I got my wife. I got my cheese. I love cheese. Okay. So my color palette's all set up. I don't know, I'm weird like that. I like the artwork in it, so I just place colors on top of colors. Let me put this out. Okay. I like to start out from the top to the bottom. And I like using a bigger brush, it covers more surface. And I wear this black scarf because I always like to wipe stuff. So this is how I wipe my brushes off. Get all the water off and stuff. All right, so for my sky, I just kind of let the colors take me where they want to take me. So um, I think I'll start off with Maybe a pink sky, a little orange in there, a little red, a little, little yellow. We'll start off with a pink sky. So we cover all the surface up here just to see where my color is going to go. We got some dark in there. This is going to be the basis of how I want my background to be. So you start off with whatever color, and that sets the tone for where you're going to go from there. I love watching Bob Ross when I got home from school because it took me to a whole nother world. So my goal is to bring that to other people. But like, without the fro, maybe sometimes I wear my fro, because I kind of like my fro. So we'll start off with some clouds. I'm going to do a quick version, just so you guys can see my technique. You just kind of pat inwardly. So I'm going to some white. To show the outline of where you want it to be. Now these paints are kind of thinner and thicker. I was using more of the liquid paint to cover more surface. And I get these little things from the dollar store that comes like six different colors, but this is a little more thicker white. So when I want to make my clouds, I use that. And that sticks to the paper a lot better than the other one. See, there's more definition in this. So you just kind of push upwardly on your brush. And I'll show you later, it's kind of the same technique for trees. So we'll fill in some of this with some clouds since we got our white out already. Go up here. Maybe put a little yellow in the white. Show the sun peeking in a little bit. Because I'm going to go right in the middle with this. That's okay. Cause white always shoots shit up. Let's put some more yellow out there. Sorry, I use my teeth for a lot of shit. Let me set this down. So we'll grab some yellow since we got some dark in there. There's no mistakes in art. You can always cover shit up. Like life if you're smart. Okay. So we go over that with some white then we take our yellow and we go through that no mistakes in art you always fix it 
and that gives us a little more definition for this cloud coming down here. Some more for this cloud here. see that but um I'll bring it a little closer so that way you can kind of see a little more of the definition see when you make mistakes you can always go over with color see I added more white when I had that a little bit of dark on my paintbrush so I could fix it okay so that's kind of how I do my sky and my clouds. I start off with whatever color I feel is going to like set the tone. And then I go in with different color and just make a little more definition and a little more depth to it. So that's why your, your paintings will pop out a little bit more. So that's kind of my little tutorial on clouds. And then when I get done with the painting, um, I'll post it on um, YouTube. And then I'll post it on Facebook too. So um, many thanks for your time. Namaste, my crab shell. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Um, thanks for tuning in if this is your first time. If this is your second time, thank you for returning and big ups for your loyalty, yo. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.